As said, um, my name is Lynette. I am a people and I'm an entrepreneur. Thank you very much to our sponsors, Itala Development Finance Corporation. That we also have finance. But it's Kati Esningi, as el Kulumi Uli Mile Mali ne finance. So I'm an entrepreneur is always finding new ways to send letter experts as well as entrepreneurs. As a boham be le um quarko, or go to see kale pela si kutuze, a makiki, a vanta mafana na yege ungos nati e tala. A woman jujoba e bigilege uli net. Itala Development Finance Corporation, a business finance executive, and responsible for e lending, which means to do some business How do you plan and implement your idea? Where should you start? So, you plan it mean, Untangela, a entrepreneur, a now, we have statistics in South Africa around small businesses. And the journey of small businesses is a very difficult journey. It is known that out of um, every businesses that start small businesses, around 63% of them will fail in the first two years. I've come, I've come across a lot of businesses and a lot of entrepreneurs when I ask them that simple question, how are you going to make money? Oh, it's a struggle for them to answer me that question. And if they don't understand how they're going to make money, how are they going to be successful in business? Who are your customers? And what are their needs? So understand your customers, understand what makes them tick, understand what because remember they vote with their wallets. If you don't give them what they want, they're gonna to go to someone else. Understand the product, understand the agency. If you are delivering a service, understand the customer funa is speed. You must serve me with speed. That is what I need from you. When I arrive, I want to move away as quickly as possible. Understand the cost to deliver your product. Very critical. So I ask you a question. Who cost a malin producer then? Angas. How are you going to make profit? So the important thing is you must know how much it costs you to deliver a product to the, to the market. So that was what yeah, how much margins are you going to make or profit margins you are going to make from deliver from selling that particular product. Understand your competitors. I think that is very critical. We all compete. We live in a, a free market system where everyone can offer the, the very same product that you're offering in the market. De and then de uh, develop a plan to deliver a better product and service at the least cost. I think once you understand the cost, make sure that you are able to develop a plan. How are you, what plan are you going to deliver that will make sure that you are able to deliver this product or service to your market at the least cost. And then always strive to be the best in what you do. I think uh, that's what I always see in the businesses that we run. We just never strive to be the best in what we do. We must always strive to be the best. And whilst many of you know the story of Sandile's success, today is also about sharing and learning. And we specifically, as I'm an entrepreneur, asked him, Obutinam Sanje, Siambona, Ikubega, Iparama, Yugela, Emazingen, Apezulu. But we asked him today to tell us the three key lessons and the three key wisdoms and values that have gotten him to where he is today. Uh, first of all, I must thank you, uh, Lynette, um, and thank the organizers of I Am An Entrepreneur for finding it fit to invite me uh, to this very august occasion especially in the township that I love, Mlaz. Uh, where does my entrepreneurial journey start? Because I think it's very important. Now, the entrepreneurship, I may not have been born in an entrepreneurial family because my, my parents were both working class, but they gave opportunities for me to become an entrepreneur. Now, if you are creating businesses, 
creates businesses that last. Uh, we need to think long term when we're creating businesses. Whether it's a family business, think about where will this business be in 100 years time. And one of the critics is the National Development Plan, not because of the National Development Plan, but because, in my opinion, it's too short term. We're not talking about the 2030 vision. It's too short term. By the time government set up a program, a proper program, an MTP, it's going to be like 15 years from 2030. Too short term. When I started off as an entrepreneur, what, where did I see myself in 50 years hence? So when I said 50 years hence, I'm now talking about when I'm 677. You know, as I approach 77, I want to be and 77. And to get there, it means there are certain things I must do. And two, to running a marathon. You don't just sprint. You pace yourself accordingly. If you had a long-term journey, a marathon, you want to make sure you don't take shortcuts. Most of the people are the articles. So we're here at Mlazi. I'm an entrepreneur. I brought together a couple of entrepreneurs uh, in Essentia, uh, who is in the maritime industry. Sandy Lezungu, who is no introduction whatsoever. We had an amazing time. It's still kind of ongoing. So thank you very much for everybody who pitched. Uh, we look forward to the next one. And good luck to the guys with the NUZ Festival and Expo, which really brings the, the community of Mlazi together. A personal one for me because it's my hometown and uh, I had an awesome time.